project here, Beacon of Hope, title Beacon of Hope. We have our own VPE who is going to deliver his uh, project speech. Our VPE Ashok Kandan is an ardent fan of Japanese way of life. Then you can imagine how disciplined he is. So he is so meticulous, soft spoken, and disciplined like the Japanese uh, citizens. And uh, he is. Uh, uh, being a vice president education and helping all the people to achieve their goals. In fact, he played a crucial role in me achieving the second DTM. So not only me, so three of us, we have completed our second DTM. So this is where Tosma Shashok played a crucial role in you know, doing the effective following up. And uh, he's such a soft-spoken person. And uh, doctor in the making, please put your hands to welcome DTM uh, uh, Tosma Shashok. Thank you so much, sir. Let me quickly share my screen. Uh, I have a quick presentation. So today I'm going to talk about uh, on this top topic called Beacon of Hope. So what according to you uh, is a good mentor? Uh, let, let me quickly launch a mentee poll, uh, which you can answer. Uh, just a minute, let me quickly ping a mentee poll on the chat window. What according to you is a good mentor? Can, can you uh, type in a few words? And I will share my screen. Who listens to me? who walks the talk, who's compassionate, who is available, very good. Who inspires? Thank you so much. Thanks for helping me out. So what according to me is a good mentor is someone who is uh, available, and who's empathetic. So a good mentor uh, is a one who understands the protege well, understands what the goals of the protege is and making sure uh, he helps the protege uh, to achieve his goals. When it comes to, uh, when, when, when it comes to my first encountering, uh, in my first encounter with mentoring, uh, I was fresh from college uh, when I joined my first company. Uh, they had this program called uh, Initial Training Program. And this program is structured like this. So it is a program that is created for fresh college passouts uh, to become seasoned professionals. So this, this Initial Training Program had multiple courses. Uh, and one of them is this soft skills training course. So in the soft skills training course, there is one uh, track called uh, public speaking training. So what happens there? What happened there amazed me. Uh, the way the, the session was conducted was uh, something phenomenal. It, it uh, worked something like this. So each one of us were asked to, uh, were asked to prepare a speech on a topic. Uh, th this was during my pre-toastmasting days. Uh, we, we were asked to prepare a speech for five, five minutes and uh, we were asked to present in front of the audience. And uh, while we present the speech, uh, there will be a mentor who will be watching my speech. Plus, there will also be a videographing of the speech that will happen. And at the end of the speech, the speech would be played back to you in a monitor. And the mentor would also provide you feedback live, like you will play this video on the wall and they will pause there and then provide feedback, pause there, provide feedback. And uh, we would be asked to note down the changes and uh, redo the speech the next day. So that was my first experience with mentoring in a non-Toastmaster setup. On a non-Toastmaster setup, uh, that was my, so I get feedback from a mentor. The next day, we were asked to repeat the exact same speech and the exact same videographer would videograph it. And we would, it would be played back again side by side, saying 
this is the amount of change that a mentoring and feedback can do to your speech. This hap all this happens in one day, uh, mind it. So that was my very first experience with mentoring in a non-Toastmaster setup. So the lesson learned, mentoring is like a mirror. When you don't have a mirror, and that is where we had this video, uh, to play back and to see uh, you know, what, what a good feedback can do to a speech. My second encounter uh, with mentoring uh, was when I joined Toastmasters for the first time. My first experience with Toastmasters is uh, when I attended uh, Cognizant Toastmasters Club in 2010. That was when the Cognizant Toastmasters Club was formed and the club was about to get chartered and no manuals were received. Uh, however, my club's uh, VPE, uh, Krishna, and he was also my mentor then. Uh, so he came up to me and uh, said, uh, Ashok, why don't you give your icebreaker speech in the next meeting? I was like, I, I was completely new to Toastmasters and I was like, what the heck is this uh, icebreaker meeting? And reading my mind, uh, he went ahead and gave me a wonderful explanation on what an icebreaker speech is. Uh, which I will never forget for the rest of my life. Incorporating all his inputs, I gave a neat and clean five-minute speech detailing my experience of breaking a slab of ice in my high school karate class. Listening to my speech, my mentor was awed. That was the last I saw him in any Toastmasters meeting. Lesson number two, being a mentor, you can be that beacon of hope. And my third experience with uh, mentoring is uh, happened when I was with uh, Chennai Communicators Club. For a change, this time, it was my turn to give back to the club and make a difference in someone's life. When it comes to mentoring, it is not just, it is not just how you help your protege during the meeting, but also how you support him after the meeting. So soon after the meeting, my uh, protege, uh, Silesh, uh, he, he was my protege at that time. So my protege Silesh uh, came running up to me soon after he gave the speech. He was clearly nervous. I, I calmed him down a bit and said, uh, you did well compared to last time and uh, you can move a few notches up by making these changes. The moment he said, he heard the word change, his face lit up and said, Ashok, that is exactly why I came running to you. Would you provide me a change for this big 500 rupee note? Lesson learned, being a good change, being a good mentor with heavy and deep pockets, you can also be a change agent in someone's life. Jokes apart, in summary, finally, if you're taking up as a mentor, what are the three things that you should watch for? Number one, uh, keep tab of your protege, the acronym TAB tab. Uh, the T, give them your time, give them your time before the meeting. Give them your time before the meeting. Number two, A, be there to acknowledge. T, time, A, acknowledge during the meeting. Be present during the meeting when your protege is giving your speech. Keep nodding your head or say something so you, they know that you are there to support him. And number three, B, B, the beacon of hope after the meeting by understanding the change and the needs of the protege. In summary, if you are taking up as a mentor for the next time, keep the tab on your protege. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Ashok. I think it was a brilliant, concise uh, presentation on both the mentoring and getting mentored. So uh, the, apart from the three virtues, uh, yet another virtue for a mentor is the persuasive mindset, right? So Thank if you, you have that persuasive mind mindset, then you'll be able to achieve whatever you get, uh, get it from the protégés.